Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today I'm here to do a full face of makeup of dupes slash affordable alternatives that I have found. So I have wanted to do a video like this for a while but it's taken me kind of some time to kind of think of what I feel are good dupes or affordable alternatives. So when I buy makeup, I'm very much like high street affordable makeup um, and occasionally I like to buy high-end makeup uh, but that's only if there's something that I really really want to get and so I thought today I would show you guys just the makeup that I think is a great alternative for not spending so much money on certain products so I didn't want to do like a full face of like W7 or Revolution because those are like the obvious choices I do have some of those in this video but they're not um like it's not everything and a lot of the high-end brands I didn't want to go here's just Charlotte Tilbury here is you know this brand or this brand because I haven't tried a lot of high-end products so I can't really compare a lot of these are just my kind of take or ones I've seen online but I will mention ones I've seen online and will mention them to you so the first product that kind of got me into wanting to do this is a product that everyone is talking about even though I've not seen anyone online actually talk about it um, this is the collection gorgeous glow filter finish so this I didn't know about until makeup by Missa actually mentioned um, that everyone was raving about this talking about this I went to look online for it it was sold out everywhere I went into like some stores like Superdrug and Boots that sell collection it was sold out as well. I went online and tried to find it where my local Superdrug would have it and I had to travel about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes to kind of get it. It was fine. It's not like I'm doing anything in my life right now. So yeah, this is meant to be an alternative well, slash dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury filter primer I guess which everyone says is amazing this is $6.99 the Charlotte Tilbury one is £36 so that's a big um that's like you're saving like £30 basically I've got my whole list of dupes and everything I've, I'm, I've come prepared um but yeah I'm very intrigued to try this because I do love collection they're a great affordable brand like I mentioned that you can get in Superdrug and Boots and on their own website as well it comes in four different shades and I got the shade fair one because I'm fair <laughs> so I'm going to just put this in a couple of different places you can use this as a highlighter you can use it as a primer um, I think the actual Charlotte Tilbury product itself is very um, like I think it's quite watery I've seen so many people use it um, and I never really know what it is because I thought it was a foundation but it's not I think it's kind of like a skin tint or something it's very um, for me it's very strange to kind of like explain what it is even though I haven't tested it so like I said in this video it's not going to be um, like 100% like dupes because I again don't know what the high-end products are really like I've just seen that the packaging is very similar the kind of feel towards it is very similar and we'll just go from there but yeah this product um, I mean is quite nice on my skin actually it's quite tacky um, but I know it will dry down it's meant to give like an illuminating glow I don't seem to be glowing as much as I probably have seen in the Charlotte Tilbury one. So this you have three different uses for it. You, um, it gives a soft focused dimension under foundation, okay. Dot and blend onto cheeks and high points of the face as a highlighter. And then wet on its own for a subtle all over glow. Okay, so um, I'm glowing slightly, <laughs> not like anything too crazy. Oh my god, my eyes are so yellow. I say that every video, but it's true. Um, this okay so far. We'll see how it works under my foundation, but I don't know. We'll see. For six ninety nine, and for me to like looking everywhere to find it, we'll see how it goes so far. So when it comes to foundation, there were so many different alternatives, and I have a big foundation collection. But when I saw on Pinterest, um, that these were kind of dupes I got very intrigued so for the um, actual kind of like dupe it's the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear and the high-end version is the Huda Beauty Foundation which is 
£34 and this is £10 I believe so this is actually one of my favourite foundations ever I absolutely love using this one it was one of my favourites last year um, and I used it like to death I'm surprised I haven't actually finished it but when it comes to the use of it I think because it's quite a long wear foundation and the Huda Beauty one I have been told is very good um, I've only ever tried like one or two Huda Beauty things I've tried like their lipsticks and their eyeliners which is amazing like those things do not budge um, and when it comes to foundation maybe one day I will try I really want to try her new formulas for her liquid lipsticks because they do look gorgeous so yeah this is like just a great foundation anyway regardless of it being a dupe um, I would like happily wear this every day because it was just such good coverage and it basically um, just really hides my redness a lot I don't think I've put enough on my palette so I will have to put some more in a moment but let me know what your favorite like dupe or kind of um, affordable alternative is because I have so much makeup that I have in my collection that they might even be like hidden treasures of high-end products and that's why when I was looking at what I have and slash kind of higher end versions I was kind of like what is going to be a good alternative because you know you can say that the packaging is the same but not always the quality obviously not the quality is going to be the same if they're different brands but if it's um, similar in kind of usage and just how it works basically so I don't have a concealer today so I'm just going to put this on like as much as I tend to hide <laughs> my yellow eyes because you know I've got to get this coverage going but this is good good shade for me this is in the shade 05 light beige so we are doing pretty good what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna actually gonna I don't know I have a, I was gonna say I'm about to powder down but I actually have a cream product that I'm gonna try so I am NOT going to powder it just yet because I don't want to ruin it so as you can see this foundation is amazing coverage it's just it's stunning and I don't have many spots at the moment thank God so even like just testing this out by itself an amazing alternative <laughs> as we say so let's go on to bronzer I don't tend to talk about bronzing slash contouring that much because I'm not very good at it um, and I just kind of wanted to use it for this video so I'm gonna be talking about the be perfect shape stick and this is essentially a dupe slash for me an alternative purchase for the hourglass bronzing stick obviously which I believe is where's it gone I've written it down <laughs> I've hidden it there we go the hourglass which is 25 pounds and this is 12.95 so I recently purchased this um, because I was really intrigued as to how these work and I want to get into contouring and just bronzing a bit more because sometimes my foundation can be extremely um, bad <laughs> like the, the matching is so bad for me so I feel like I want to try out a product like this this is in the shade Latte so this is their second shade because their first shade is a grey tone it's not for me so I felt like buying something like this will give me a much better kind of look and as much as I want to try hourglass honestly like I would never want to spend um, 25 pounds on a contour stick even though I don't actually contour and bronze that much um, and so I thought let me try like a 12 pound 95 one because why not and I do love be perfect they're a really good brand um, and I will be showing another dupe for them later so you probably know what it is but I feel like this is definitely an alternative product because yes the shape is the same is it the same quality again I have no idea but I'm just going to like blend this in and see how it works and I believe it was Hourglass that like last year came out with those single eyeshadows that were like 25 pounds that I'm pretty sure no one bought because it's actually insane like making a four pan palette for like 125 pounds or something absolutely not that's one thing that always kind of like annoys me about kind of some high-end brands it's just like the audacity <laughs> that you would have like yeah 
I will pay, I will charge this much money. And I'm like, no, thank you. So yeah, this is a really good alternative. If you feel like you don't want to spend 25 pounds, you want to spend like, you know, 10 pounds less, 10 pounds on something else. This is a great alternative. So let's go on to blush. So I'm going to be talking about the Revolution Pro Hydra Bright Cream Blush. This is one of my most recent purchases in the shade peach and this I believe is like an you know affordable alternative for a Charlotte Tilbury liquid blush I know that the shape is very similar and Revolution are known to like be the biggest like dupes and kind of I don't want to say thieves that's quite rude uh, but like you know they like to take a lot of ideas from bigger from other brands um, and the Charlotte Tilbury one I believe is £24 so I'm just going to squeeze this out a bit. I actually have purchased quite a few of these recently from Revolution just because, oh, hang on. This one you have to like unclick. That's why I was like, why is it not coming out? Um, but I do like cream blush so much recently. Like if you've been watching my videos, you know that like cream blush is one of my favorite things at the moment. So I'm just like constantly buying new ones and testing out new ones this one is very light for me so it's not um like my best shade but i felt like using it in this video because i feel like it is very similar to the charlotte tilbury one and of course they have their concealer which is meant to be very similar to their kind of eye wand i think it's called um and yeah again charlotte tilbury is probably duped so much and the same with huda beauty because of how high-end their products are and of course people want to try alternative versions because they can't afford <laughs> the high-end versions like myself I've tried um, like two things from Charlotte Tilbury and one was a liquid lipstick which I absolutely love and the other one was an eyeshadow palette which was not one of my favorites but it was okay I got it on like a discount so it was kind of it was like more affordable than the high-end version even though I still don't think it was worth <laughs> that amount so I'm actually going to powder down I don't have a dupe a setting powder so I'm just going to use my 17 setting powder because um, I am starting to get a bit oily it's very warm day today because I think spring is here now and I feel like I need to start working quicker on some of my makeup looks because they will just be here forever um, if I don't kind of get my ass moving but so far we're looking good I mean so far I think for makeup we've only spent like 20 30 pounds if that and the normal probably would have been like 100 pounds already so let's go on to highlighter so I actually have two affordable alternatives so for the high-end version I'm talking about like Ofra so this is my mini version of Rodeo Drive I know a lot of people don't want to talk about Ofra anymore which is totally fine I don't I've never really been a big like fan of them I just picked up a couple of products like I picked up this product and I picked up their Steph Tom's uh, collaboration because I'm a fan of hers but with Rodeo Drive this mini version I think is about 14 15 pounds their bigger version is 27 and this is their most like well-known product so again we have Rodeo Drive which I'm going to swatch right here it's an absolutely stunning stunning highlighter it's one of my favorites but the two that I found which are great alternatives is the Catrice highlighter in the shade more than glow which is the this the ultimate platinum glaze this is like three pounds fifty and it is one of the most amazing highlighters I've ever tried of course the color is not like there but then when you look at this one this is the mega honey by makeup obsession I think this is about four or five pounds if that this is a stunning gold like highlighter again the shade is not 100% but when you're looking at intensity and the affordability like it's insane so I really think that this one is a really good alternative so this one, I know Makeup Obsession is not as big anymore when it comes to like Revolution um, because they're trying to kind of big up their other products, their other brands as well. Like they come out with a new brand like every week it seems. But this highlighter has been one like that I have used so much in my collection. Like I, I've had this for about a year and a half, maybe two years and it still gives me 
a beautiful glow as much as I do love the Ofra one I haven't used it in a while but when it comes to affordability I think this one wins by far so now I'm gonna go in with eye base and I'm going in with my P Louise base which is 10 pounds and I do believe that you know I don't really think there's a dupe for it but it's a definitely affordable alternative to maybe the Urban Decay eye potion which I think is like 20 pounds so this is a def this is definitely a great version I'm sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the back um, I didn't realize it would be this loud today <laughs> because I was like let's get everything done at once today for you know my time off and then filming and then it's like making the biggest noise but P Louise bases are honestly like outstanding you can there's different colored um, bases as well so if you wanted to kind of maybe have like a green base or a blue base they have done it and I believe that they are all £10 as well and pretty affordable it does help your makeup like set so much longer it's fantastic so let's go on to eyeshadow palette and like I mentioned earlier I'll be talking about W7 and this is like the most obvious one so this is the Mardi Gras palette which is a dupe of course with the Be Perfect kind of um, what's it called the Tahiti palette which is £42 um, I love Be Perfect so much that as you can see I use like their contour stick and I buy a lot of their products but when it came to testing out this palette this is like £12 and I know W7 are <laughs> notorious for constantly ripping off people constantly like duping and stuff like that again I always say this I'm surprised no one's like tried to sue them or something but I obviously want to talk about in this video I do have a couple of their other palettes um, but this one I just haven't tried in a while and it is a beautiful beautiful palette but is it is a copy and paste of that other palette so I will just use this today um, yeah maybe in the future I will pick up the Be Perfect one they always tend to have sales like I know during St Patrick's Day they had like a half price sale and I was like I don't need it because I had this and it was like half the price so um, I've previously done like you know a purple look and this and that look I never know what look to do so I might just go for something quite simple today because my lips are going to be either bold or neutral we'll see um, but it's quite a messy palette as well, oh my god. So let's go in with like, yeah, let's like a nudie tone today. So let's go in with Cider, which is like an orange look. So I basically bought this at a beauty outlet, which I live near. Um, well, there's quite a few scattered around London. There's one in the O2, there's one in like Wembley, and there's, yeah, I guess a few around London. They sell a lot of W7 and they sell a lot of like affordable makeup. So they sell <laughs> but yeah they sell a lot of w7 they sell a lot of like discontinued makeup so if you're looking to buy something that's a bit um like more affordable but it's the genuine products i would definitely check them out because i got this from there for 12 pounds um i know you can buy um like this product on their website as well but when i saw this in store and i saw how pretty it was i was like yeah i'm getting this <laughs> because i've wanted to try it for so long and when i first reviewed this i mentioned that makeup by mister actually did review this and did recommend this i was kind of like i'm going to give it a go if i find it one day um and then now i'm going to go in with olive which is kind of there plus i'm going in with kind of like a greenish look today why not um and so yeah I'm happy that I purchased this but I don't like these kind of brands that rip off other brands I mean I'm <laughs> again I'm not a makeup owner like you know I don't own a company with makeup and I wouldn't know how to feel if someone ripped off my makeup but I know that Manny MUA did um, file a suit against Revolution because they basically copied one of his highlighters I know this is like old news but it's just like an example um, and Revolution are known for doing this to like all the high-end makeup so that's why I didn't want to do like a full face of Revolution dupes and you know stuff like that because it's kind of like an obvious choice even though I feel like I will do one in the future um, and it's the same with W7 like it's easy to kind of do this video where it's like this is a dupe of this product when it's the same brand and it can get a bit boring so that's why I felt like I would mix this up a bit so yeah 
but these two are going on very nicely these are shades i haven't used by the way because i thought i'm going to try as many shades as i can um next i'm going to go in with shamrock which is this gorgeous green but yeah i do like w7 they have some really nice kind of alternative like makeup dupes like they have so many who the beauty ones in one of my recent videos i did mention that i bought one of the w7 like brown sugar palette and um it's basically a dupe for like huda beauty so it's a nice mixture of brands that they kind of dupe in that aspect right so i'm gonna use a different brush for this one some of my brushes i wash recently and just are a bit stiff but okay blend this out Don't want this video to be like seven hours long, but I can do a good look for you guys. I couldn't find a good um, like mascara or eyeliner, so those I'm gonna miss today because I don't know. I went into Primark last week and I did find kind of like the exact same packaging as the Benefit ones, and I thought those are a bit too obvious because the packaging is literally the same and it's the same with w7 like they have so many like just copy and paste of the packaging and i was like are these dupes or alternatives they're just the packaging is just like copy and paste so i'm gonna go in with a uh, shimmer now um this kind this palette does lack shimmers which is one of the issues that i do have with it but i feel like going in with zesty because it's green and we're doing a green look today so why not i think my eyeshadow my um lipsticks might not <laughs> work to work with it but we will just go with it it's fine so and the thing is when it comes to w7 it's not like their makeup is bad at all like they have some really great like this eyeshadow palette is really nice um and again i can't compare it to what the be perfect one is like because I recently tried their anecdote palette and that was absolutely outstanding like I don't know how they're gonna kind of dupe something like that because it's so like crazy and like beautiful but I guess the same with the Tahiti palette um, they still managed to dupe it so <laughs> let's go in with an inner corner shade I'm gonna go in with Tahitian pearl just on my inner corner and then we're done with the eyes. The eyes, I went a little bit crazy today because we're just going for it. So now we're gonna end on the lips. So I do have W7 again, but I have two lipsticks. And this is just like, when I talk about packaging being copy and pasted, this is actually insane. So we've got the Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> lipstick, and then we also have the Huda Beauty lipstick. Like I can't even, like they're both three pounds 50. And I'm pretty sure the Charlotte Tilbury one is 24 and I think the Huda is around 20 pounds, 24 pounds as well. I have tried this in one of my last videos so I am actually going to try this because it's like a brand new one. This is in the shade House Red and when you look at it, it's basically the same thing. So I am going to put it on off camera because it's going to take me a while to kind of like put it on properly. But I'll be back and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, I'm back and this is my finished look. The one of the issues that I have with this is that they smell so chemically. At least with the real products, they don't smell bad. Like I am pretty sure the Charlotte Tilbury ones and all the other lipsticks do smell really nice. Like they tend to have like maybe a nice scent to it, but this just smells of like pure chemicals. But yeah, this is my finished look of, with using a full face of dupes and alternative affordable products. I mean, I know with some of these I was kind of a bit like uh, I don't know if it is but I honestly feel like some of these products are just so much better than the more high-end ones and I'll always stand by high street makeup because I for one cannot afford to buy like you know Charlotte Tilbury every day or buy Natasha Denona every day even though I haven't bought any of her products but one day I will um, and like Huda Beauty and this and that and I feel like having 
affordable alternatives is always going to be a great option for people especially who are passionate about makeup again let me know what your favorite alternative like dupe is and thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there and i'll see you guys very soon bye bye